Hi, Elliot Recaps here. Today, I'm gonna recap a movie called Devil in Dune. The film begins with a group of armored trucks moving through the desert with a man tied to the hood. They deliberately keep him prisoner, as he has valuable information, but does not want to reveal it. At the moment when the group stops, they are covered by a sandstorm as a result of which several soldiers lose their lives. As soon as the storm passes, the biology doctor starts to panic and asks everyone to shake off the sand that attracts the worms. Five hours before these events, Chinese city Jundu, which became the last fortress, protecting the remnants of the sandworm humanity is being attacked. A voice over the loudspeaker asks the people to calm down and not panic as the high walls and the army will protect them. Many do not believe this and try to flee, dispersing through the streets of the city. Meanwhile, Doctor of Biology Lu Dong persuades Captain and Professor Song as soon as possible to leave the limits of Jun Du. He knows about the only protected place on Earth called the Oasis, and says that he can take them to him. Previously, he said that the journey would take several hours, but now he claims that the journey will take at least five days. Moving around the city in an armored truck, the group is unaware that a teenager is under the bottom and is trying to cut through it. Liu Dun reports that the drug, which is a blue liquid, is the only salvation and a ticket to the cherished oasis. Professor decides to check the contents of the case and, upon opening it, notices a hole in the floor. Several ampoules are missing, so the armored truck stops. Noticing a teenager running away nearby, the soldiers pursue him to return the stolen ampoules. Hiding in one of the poor areas of the city, a teenager passes one ampoule and a ticket to the oasis to a man named Mabo, after which he passes away. Realizing how important the contents of the ampoule are and hearing that the teenager is being stalked, Mabo quickly runs away. As soon as he leaves the boy's body, other residents of the city jump on him and rip off his clothes as he no longer needs them. Trying to find cover, Mabo runs into the back apartment on the top floor. Here he discovers several people who have fallen asleep forever and a girl who has lost her parents. Hearing that the soldiers are approaching and no cover can be found, Mabo asks the girl to turn away. Looking at the cherished ticket to the oasis, he remembers the coordinates of its location, after which he hides the ampoule in his ass. The soldiers found the teenager and returned one of the ampoules. Soon they found May, but with him an ampoule with a unique medicine was not found. Professor realizes that the man is useless and orders him to be eliminated. Captain Wang shoots but Liu Dong manages to save and push Ma away, since he began to name the numbers corresponding to the coordinates of the oasis, which is almost impossible to find. The man asks for the remaining numbers, but Mbo is in no hurry to do so, realizing that this is his opportunity to be valuable and remain unscathed. The sandworms continue to attack and destroy the city, including the nuclear reactor tower. Using the fingerprint as an access key, the professor activates the armored vehicle for five hours. Soldiers under the command of Captain Wang hurriedly leave Jun Du, realizing that the city is about to disappear. In the present, a group that survived a sandstorm is trying to fix the damaged cars and realizes that they won't be able to do it, as the mechanic has passed away. After reconnaissance, one of the soldiers reports that he has found an armored van nearby. Captain Wang goes to him and gets acquainted with the family, who also managed to evacuate from Jun Du. Lai Go, his wife and little daughter Bing, are moving in the van. Realizing that they need additional transport, the captain asks the family to join their dangerous journey and promises them protection. Meanwhile, Mimbo notices the girl and gets to know her, remembering the little girl he saw in the house a few hours before. Bing's father repairs the damaged transport and agrees to go with the group, but Captain Wang changes his mind. He is ready to take only the van, getting rid of the family. The captain is already preparing to shoot when suddenly their conflict is stopped by a nuclear explosion, proving the fact that their city has been wiped off the face of the earth and there is no turning back. Soon the group continues to move and Mabo stays in the van with Mr. Li Go's family. A few minutes earlier he had seen the bag move, so he kicked it, allowing the man to get out of it. As it turns out, the family is hiding school teacher Bing, as she's a very nice and smart woman. In the evening, the group makes a stop and Liu Dong recommends that they do not continue driving at night as it will get very cold and the density of the sand will change, which is very dangerous. While the rest are camping, Mimbo revisits the events that took place a few hours before. Hiding in a little girl's apartment, he decided to use her as a distraction. Standing at the side of the door and picking up a chair, Mabo put the girl in front of the door and asked her to count to 100 as loudly as possible. He hoped the soldiers would rush in and stop when they saw the child. At this moment, Mabo could easily attack them and deal with opponents who dream of catching him. Alas, his plan did not work and the soldiers simply shot through the closed door, sending the girl to the other world. Remembering it all, Mabo is painfully worried, realizing that he is to blame for what happened. At some point, he sees that the sand is moving and a worm attacks him. 
Throwing it aside, the man looks around and sees that their camp is under attack. The group struggles to fight off the hundreds of worms surrounding them from all sides. Captain Wang uses a machine gun and a flamethrower, but there are too many worms and they take the lives of the group members one by one. Mumbo tries to protect the girl's family and teacher, but the worms continue to attack. At some point, Mumbo notices that the worms are afraid of the gasoline and won't come near it. Realizing that the fuel can serve as protection, the man pours himself and his family. The others do the same, but the biology doctor tells them to stop as this will only make the worms more angry. Hastily gathering, the group moves forward, but soon loses another truck, covered with hundreds of huge sandworms. In the morning, the group makes a stop to examine each other for wounds. As it turned out, worms have a genetic memory and after the first bite, they will pursue the victim. The rest are afraid of becoming a target and decide that it is easier to take the lives of those who were injured. Yang Wei and Bing's mother have wounds, so the captain and professor decide to get rid of them. The teacher reports that she was injured due to hitting a pipe and Mebo confirms her words. Trusting, the group allows Yang to return to duty, leaving only the girl's mother in the middle of the desert. As soon as they continue to move, the baby and her father are hard-pressed by the loss of a loved one. The woman's suffering was short-lived as the Queen of Worms attacked her and took her life. Soon Li Dong asks for new numbers to plot a further route. Mebo still doesn't trust and calls out all but the last two digits in an attempt to protect himself from elimination. A little later, the group makes a halt for lunch when they suddenly notice that their transport has disappeared. They realize that they have stopped in the middle of the quicksand, but it is too late to run and they are also dragged underground. Waking up in an underground mall, the group regroups and notices that the professor is badly injured and has two rebars sticking out of his stomach. Realizing that he will not survive, Sun Bo Wen begins to go crazy and breaks two cherished ampoules. Captain Wang decides to save the last ampoule and sends the professor to the other world. After that, he cuts off Sun's finger. Bo Wen, since the fingerprint is the only way to activate access to the SUV. There is not enough fuel in the trucks, so they need to find gasoline. The detachment is divided into groups of several people and goes in search of a department with goods for cars. Lu Dong, Yang Wei, and Ma Bo goes on a quest, during which the biology doctor asks for the latest figures. He argues that they are in difficult conditions and it is important that someone can be saved. Mebo trustingly names the numbers after which their group finds a small container of gasoline. On the way back, they notice a huge worm on the pipe and try not to make any noise. Yang Wei accidentally steps on the jar and makes a loud noise. The sandworms are already preparing to attack, but Liu Dong throws a rock the other way, diverting their attention. The trio run away but soon find themselves in the same dire situation. Liu Dong decides not to help Mebo and the teacher because he has the coordinates. Instead, he throws a bottle at the couple's feet and flees to make them easy prey for the worms. The pair hastily flee, but are soon trapped. Noticing the passage on the side, Mebo gets out and Yang Wei sacrifices herself and becomes worm food in an attempt to buy the man some time. Ong returns to the car where Captain Wang is fighting off the worms with the last of his strength. Having informed that he has gasoline, the doctor of biological sciences asks to hurry up. The SUV is leaving, but Meb Bo manages to hook onto it and climb inside before they are out on the ground. Once the danger has passed, Meb Bo pounced on Liu Dong and tried to strangle him, but Captain Wang stopped the man who was dreaming of revenge for meanness and betrayal. According to the coordinates, it becomes clear that only six hours are left to the Oasis, but they need to make a stop to fill the remaining fuel into the tank. Meb Bo realizes that the survivors cannot be trusted and decides to do a good deed. Having called Bing to him, he gives the girl the cherished ampoule in the hope that at least she will be saved. At some point, Lu Dun informs the captain that he has a sandworm around his neck and attacks him with a knife. Grabbing a shotgun, he takes Van's life, but the others have time to leave, realizing what is happening. Lu's real biology doctor, Dong and his student named Zhao Tian. Having received all the necessary information from the old man, he took his life and took the name Liu Dong to get into the oasis at the expense of a savings ticket. Zhao present tense Tian catches up with the stalled SUV and injures Bing's father. Realizing that it is useless to resist an armed man, Mebo offers a deal. He is ready to sacrifice himself and become food for worms, but asks in return to take a little girl with him. Zhao Tian replies that there is only one ticket and shoots Mebo. Jumping behind the wheel of an SUV, Zhao tries to leave, but Lai Gu Liang runs after him and clings to the protruding part. In an attempt to give hope to his daughter, the man sacrifices himself and throws himself under the wheel of the car to stop him. At the same moment, the Queen of Worms attacks the armored car and turns it over. Zhao does not allow Mebo approaches him and shoots the man in the leg. Realizing that the Queen of Hearts needs more blood, the man cuts the girl's arm, using it as live bait. Mebo gathers his last strength and asks Bing not to cry. 
He tells the girl to run away and count to a hundred, after which everything will be fine with her. Choosing the right moment, Mimbo attacks Zhao and gets another wound. In an attempt to save the girl, he knocks the gun out of the criminal's hands and shoots the Queen of Hearts to make her leap being alone. When it doesn't work, Mimbo spits in Zhao's face, pull blood, and it attracts a huge worm. The Queen attacks the men and takes the lives of both. A flashback shows Mabo took revenge on the two soldiers who took the life of the poor girl and took their lives. In the present, Bing counts to 100 and is attacked by a kingworm. At the last moment, the Oasis army rescues the girl and eliminates the monster, noticing that Bing is holding a saving ampel. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching, friends. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you.